Yo, what up, it's your boy Black Gritty. It's me, Jason. I'm sad. Yeah. <laughs> um. So the Phillies lost the World Series, and uh, I am angry about it. Now, something that you always complain about is Negadelphia, and you have been Mr. Negadelphia. I've been both. This week. No, I mean, this week you've been real. I got people texting me, and people say I'm negative, look at Ferg, and I'm like, he's... He, cause he cares, right? Yes. So just to point out some, I'm not gonna say the last name, but Jimmy came on and wrote a little paragraph about how, right. oh, we did all great and we just we sure ain't supposed to be there. And we, I was like, dude, you moved to California and you're living this hippy dippy lifestyle. Do you right. forget what it's like to be here? And then he's like, well, if it was the Eagles, I, exactly. So right. you don't care enough about the Phillies for it to make you lose your mind. Right. I know I'm insane, by the way. Oh yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Like, it's not even sanity. It's reality right. of fandom and when you actually care right the worst so first of all i was at a wedding yesterday oh that hurts uh Congrats, lovely though. yep lovely wedding love love uh it softened the blow somewhat because we were around family and friends and loved ones and all the joy and after covid i've seen people i haven't seen in like four or five years so it was all gravy That's awesome. dinner was everything was immaculate so we're sitting there watching dupe dupe doopy dupe on silent and my buddy's like, oh, we're winning. We're losing. And, of course, he thought the L.A. color was the union. The union. It's close. I can see. Because so, we see. do have, like, a navy blue yeah. thing. And I, and the the way the field was shaded half black, you kind of couldn't see. But I'm like, dude, that's not that's not right. And he's like, what? I'm like, no. The union are in the baby blue. And he's like, uh, oh. <laughs> I was like, yeah. So They should have never lost that game either, by the way, which set – a negative tone for the rest of the day. For the rest of the day. Just for 30 seconds, uh, tell why they shouldn't have lost the game. They shouldn't have lost because when the keeper from L.A. came out and got hurt, which I still haven't seen the replay. Supposedly it's pretty gross the way he broke his leg. Uh, he got red carded. So L.A. is down a player. So the Union are up a goal with two minutes left in the game, and L.A. is down a player. There's no way a professional team should concede a goal at that point in that situation. But they did. And the player that scored is one of the best players in the world. So, I mean, whatever, but... It shouldn't have happened. No, it shouldn't have happened. But Philadelphia sports, yeah. okay? So, yeah, so that's the tone. Now, again, I'm living my life like Shannon Sharp watching this game with no sound. Mm -hmm. And people were getting on me because uh, we're at a bar, obviously, after the after party thing. There's screens everywhere, but I would put on, like, it on my phone so I could actually hear when Bryce was up to bat. Mm -hmm. like that. Whenever I saw Bryce, I just turned my phone on. Like, I just wanted to hear it. And... What are your assessments of why we lost? In we general? could not hit the baseball at all. The top of the lineup all went cold all at the same time after game three. Uh, the bullpen, which had been so good for so long in key moments, didn't work out. Like, and the Astros are also a better baseball team than the Phillies. So, which sucks. <laughs> the Astros. And Leah calls them Astros. 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 I get it. Yeah, it's pretty funny. <laughs> I call them Asteroids. She calls them Astros, and I'm going gonna, gonna to go with Astros right good. now. I will never concede that they were a better team than the Philadelphia Phillies. That's fair. They also. I, I, two reasons for this. The Braves won a championship. Who did they win against? Last year? Yeah. The Astros? Okay. <laughs> the um, Bryce Harper's former team, the Nationals. They beat the Astros. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Have either one of those teams repeated? No. So apparently everybody's one shining moment comes against this all-powerful <laughs> Asteroids team. Right. And this was Philly's one shining moment. Now, again, I just ask these questions before I get into my soliloquy. How many games did the Astros lose before getting to the World Series? None. Who did they play? Did they beat the Yankees like that? Easily. Like a drum. They beat the Yankees. <laughs> the Yankees didn't win a game? No games. Shout out to all my Yankee friends. I, some of y'all, I like love y'all. I know, Kate's uh, so, 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 Okay. <laughs> like I said, some of y'all, I got a lot of friends that are fans. And I, I'm not trying to break your heart. Right now. I'm just trying to make a point. So, in my mind... If now it's a fact, the Phillies are the second best team in Major League Baseball. Mm -hmm. 
not only because they were in the World Series and lost, so that makes them quote unquote second, but the Astros swept everyone in their conference. So I can literally say the Phillies are better than every single team that they played. It was like the Sixers when we beat the Lakers back in 01. Yeah. Yes. That's, yes. That's the comparison, unfortunately. It, 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 yeah, just like that. So Bings, not only, they didn't just win one game, they won two games, had a chance to win the third game, and they blew it because of defense. Yep, which is a problem they had all year. And not having the ability to play small ball. Now, again, I, I I'm I'm a, I will tell you this is a fact. I'm not the soccer dude. Like I coached soccer when Lee was little. Like I haven't watched him much soccer since I coached her and she played, to be honest with you, as I have this last like three months. Um World Cup coming and, up. Exactly. <laughs> and so um baseball, again, I, I've coached my daughter in softball. I get how the sport works. I've always watched it. I I prefer going to games and watching it on TV. But and I think Topper did an amazing job throughout the series. But in this game, where the last two games, I've been asking for Bryce to be moved to the three-hole, where he usually does. And I know that he came back from injury and they put him in a four-hole, blah, 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 blah. But if you're going to make a move, that was my main move to get him more at-bats and to put JT behind him mm -hmm. to put more pressure on the pitchers. Right. And Topper has broken a record of not changing the lineup. Now, this is my question to you. When you say he believes in his guys, he doesn't want to change the lineup, he wants to keep everything the same, he wants to keep everybody comfortable, he doesn't want the guys' heads, but then in the game last night, you swap out two players, right? Right, which he did for uh, game two against the same pitcher. Oh, yeah. Right, so you can move the lineup. So you can <laughs> move the lineup. Like, That's what I'm saying. When I'm uh, Again, if anybody knows, the only reason you're watching this mostly is you either know us right. or you hear me on talk radio <laughs> right. and you're local. So you know that when I call and complain and say, why can't we change it? People talk to me like I'm an idiot saying that Topper doesn't do that and you can't do that and the confidence in the guys. First of all, they're professional athletes. Right. Second of all, they all know that Cascadanos is playing like dog shit and he's not protecting Bryce Harper. Yeah, that Br guy couldn't buy a hit for the past. He hasn't hit a home run since August. He hasn't hit a ball worth of shit. <laughs> like, what? what is he batting, like, 100, like, 1.2? 1 I, I don't. And then, of course, he has the one at bat last night where he's doing really well and the ump rings him up on a bad call. Like, that guy can't hit now, and let alone to get ripped off on a bad call. Not the reason they lost. Not the reason they lost. Like, But thing, they, so you... Man, we're all over the place, and right, who focus. gives a shit? Yeah, my feelings are still hurt. Yeah, 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 yeah. To totally <laughs> dying inside. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you were so angry that they got no hit. Yeah, it's embarrassing. All that night, you were just you were just <laughs> texting me, and you was just a and I'm and I'm sitting there saying it ain't that bad. You're like no, <laughs> like you was just you were going at it, and then finally I had to get seen. I'm like, well, shit, now you done made me more mad than I was mad because in my mind, I feel like. Yo, sometimes the pitchers got your shit, and it's right. not your night, and it is what it is. And as where you were just said, you felt the embarrassment of it. The next night, I was livid. Mm -hmm. You cannot lose the third game at home in a tight game like that. And this is, again, where I'm going to say, Topper, what the fuck were you doing? Now, you put a guy in, you pull a guy with bases loaded mm -hmm. in the World Series. Uh, Alvarado has been showing you as of the whole World Series, like he's had his moments, but he's also thrown these insanely wild pitches. Like he's the only pitcher in the bullpen on the roster that, if the bases are loaded, he might throw 101 miles an hour off the plate, bouncing over JT's <laughs> shoulder because he's shown you to do it throughout the whole playoffs. Gets a little juiced up. Oh, so this is the guy you bring in with bases loaded, and boom, game's gone. Okay, learn your fucking lesson. Wheeler has been dealing. He hit a guy. I get it. Whatever. The nine hitter to lead off the inning. I get it. But real quick on that. Can we stop saying that that guy leaned over the plate when he got hit? He was close to the plate. He did not lean over the plate. He did the same thing Chase Utley did his whole career to get hit. Let's stop pretending that he dove out over the plate like that other guy did. Yes. Uh, in the Padres? Yeah. Right? Where, or no. No, no. It, oh, Astros, right? Astros. Yeah, in game one. Astros. Right? When he, that guy leaned yes, out yes. over the plate. Yes. So Maldonado did not. No. So he did not. 
But Wheeler was still throwing 97 miles an hour and dealing. I thought his location was starting to go a little bit. I, I don't give a shit. <laughs> first and third, his first and third. Okay, so hmm, see, see. Okay, if his location was moving, whatever. First of all, Wheeler afterwards said, "I uh, don't. I, I don't feel like I should have been pulled." Like, I believed in myself. He did believe in himself. What else is he going to say, though? I, I don't give a shit what he says. I'm going by what he said. I don't know. What else is he going to say? I know what he yeah, said. Actually, I, I was done. No, 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 no. <laughs> he was good. He was, Wheeler was good. Right. So you pull him. Why don't, and again, this is all Monday morning quarterback, and you don't know. It sucks because after the fact, obviously, it's the wrong move. But during the fact, it's like, the wrong move. Like, I didn't I'm think looking at the TV. You didn't? I did not. I thought in that inning, Wheeler looked like he was starting to lose it. Okay. If, if Wheeler's starting to lose it, Cool. Okay, let's concede that point. You're gonna buck fucking bring in Alvarado. Right. He went lefty, lefty. It, it didn't work. Why would you do that though? Right. The dude just Pitch showed you in the right. previous game when you bring him in under a pressure situation yep. with people on bases, he can't do it. Agreed. Why wasn't Dominguez in there? Fucking give me fucking bobbed in. I, again, I, <laughs> Maybe, I, yeah, I I'm it, just he saying. Was pitching well. Oh my god. Like, I'm just saying, and again, you oh, you don't know, you, you just saying stuff. No, bitch, right. I'm yelling at a goddamn TV screen in the right. middle of a wedding. <laughs> Why the fuck is Alvarado coming in there with dudes on first and third when we just saw what happened? Again, I'm not a genius. I, I'll admit this. I'm not Mr. Baseball, but I'm watching the game. I got a photograph memory. I just remember what the fuck just happened. Right. What, I'm, well, so I'm cussing so much because so, I'm so upset. Why did you put him in that? pressure situation and what did he do 101 into the dirt bounced off the ground advancing guys like what the fuck giving up the home run like yo that home run was smashed like oh my goodness it's one of the furthest ones i've ever seen fuck that schwar <laughs> bomb had 488 that was right. 450 but uh so yeah so results based right clearly i say i think wheeler was losing it everyone else gonna say he should have stayed in uh, I have no real evidence to prove otherwise because it didn't work. They lost the game because of that decision right there. If he leaves Wheeler in with Alvarado warming up in the bullpen and Wheeler lets up the home run, everyone says, oh, he got too cute. He had the lefty up. He doesn't do it. Like It's a results-based thing. I get why people wanted Wheeler in there over Alvarado. He's a better pitcher. But whatever was going on with Wheeler that he needed an extra day, he struggled the first game in the World Series. Something was clearly off about him. And they, for some reason, he's managed, he's pulled all the guys early like that the entire playoffs. Can I, where is Facebook for? Where the fuck we? Stop trying to compensate with conversation. It's the World <laughs> Series. It's his last fucking yeah, he was chance desperate. to he pitch. He desperate move. Oh, I agree. Like, it, it, I don't, let his fucking arm fall off. Go down with this dude. Let his arm fall off. That let his awesome. arm fall the fuck off. Absolutely. Roll with, roll with the dude. And again, if he sat there on the mound and said, I'm good, and you still pull him, Fuck you, because, again, I, that I, I agree I, with. and I say Topper has done a great job, but there have been three key moments where the first one, okay, I give it to you. No mm -hmm. qualms. Okay, you bring Alvarado in there, it don't work out. Mm -hmm. But for you to do the exact same thing mm -hmm. in the exact same position is fucking unacceptable to me. Either you leave Wheeler in or you bring anyone else the fuck in there. Because, again... Consistently, I repeat, throughout the fucking playoffs, this man has thrown balls to where you are texting and complaining about JT. And I'm like, bro, it's 101. It bounced off his arm, like, because the ball is so inaccurate, it's skipping and bouncing. Now, again. Oh, I only complain because he doesn't slide over. Yeah, because I know it's not an easy play, yes. but he doesn't slide over yeah. to block it. Yes. That's all. And, and, and you he know, is the best catcher and, in baseball. And, I'm aware. And we discussed why he doesn't slide over because you yeah, can't fucking run on JT because yeah. he positions he himself like that because he makes sure that no one steals on him. The only and, reason I ever did the Real Muto stuff is because I didn't like that contract because as he ages, but he's clearly been worth the money. Here's my thing about contracts. I'm going to tell you that one you thing don't care what they are. I, uh, yeah, exactly. I know. Uh, my, my favorite thing about contracts is why when I did my rant and I said all the time, thank you, Bryce, for choosing me. I know he didn't choose me. I know he chose 330. I know he chose $330 <laughs> million. I know what he chose. But I'm saying it sounds better to me in my heart that he chose me mm -hmm. and he came to Philadelphia. I know why he chose the money. But my favorite thing all the time is back in the day when <laughs> Shaq gets paid $20 million. I can't believe and Jordan used to play. He only got $15 million. Oh, I can't believe. So and I'm like, first of all, <laughs> First of all, let me ask you a question. Who the fuck can afford to pay Shaquille O'Neal 
$20 million a year and pay 13 other guys, Mm -hmm. 10 coaches. Do you know what their salaries in the NBA are about to be after this next TV deal? Oh, yeah. It's going to be. They're going to make like 60 a year. Yeah. And they deserve every penny. Again, when you tell me anything about a player getting paid a certain amount of money, especially if the player is like one of the best centers of all time, one of the. We are what are all you over the place? Yeah, wh- why are you <laughs> complaining? I I want to know who could afford to pay him. Right. I want to know who could afford to pay him. It's not like the dude delivering my Amazon packages is getting twenty million dollars a year, and I want to know what the fuck's going on. All right, this dude is dunking, running, sh- all right. this stuff. So anyway, I don't care about the money. JT worth every penny. Bryce worth every penny. I don't care. We got especially in baseball because sky's the limit. Spend what you want to spend. And guess what? Next year they better fucking spend. Oh, I think they will for sure. Uh, I expect a couple of players that played every day in this lineup are not going to be back. Who? Like, oh, let, okay, let's. We're, we're a minute well, 16. Who's not coming back who, for sure? Segura won't be back. Segura's not Segura's back. Segura's okay. not coming back. Uh, I would not want Hoskins back if I had my choice, regardless of the home runs. I can't watch him play first base ever do, again. Do you, do you know what his contract is? Don't. No okay. idea. I don't give a shit what his contract is. I just don't is. want to see him play first base ever again. I don't want to see him be a Philly. Uh, Castellanos Philly will be back anymore. because that's an untradeable contract. But his history is that in his second year on a team, he always does a lot better than the first year. He can't do worse. Uh, they may move stop the second base and sign a shortstop like Trey Turner. But I think they need pitchers. They need pitchers. Okay. So that that's where I'm going. Okay. Go so um, I want um, more pitching. Yes. I want Nola <laughs> to be a bullpen guy. Uh, he should I, be a third or fourth starter. He's really a third starter is what he really is. I he's, don't. He's a fourth starter now to me. Third. He's a fourth <laughs> starter to me. Uh, except because uh, again, you know why I want him fourth? I want him well rested so that he could be uh, October Nola that he was for like a week, a week and a half. He was. On fire, he was so good. He was so good. Like <laughs> when the guy who falls apart in September, but he's or, dominant in October. Yeah, yeah. He then falls, I got to November. He falls apart every September, but in October, <laughs> the juice is loose. Like the adrenaline gets to him, and he gets yeah. there, and then he just got tired. So I, I want him as low as possible in the depth chart, so that I can get maybe September and October no I want him yeah. well, well rested. He's someone who rest needed uh, to help him. But um, they need a closer, an they, actual closer. They need a real closer. Right. So we need three pitchers, mm-hmm. at we, least. We need we need another starter, and they need a leadoff hitter, or at least a two hole hitter that can do a little bit more. One of the two. Yes. Schwarber's fine as a leadoff hitter. I don't particularly like that style of leadoff hitter, but I mean results. So, so <clears throat> again, I'd love to have him bat behind Harper. So here's here's my thing. I want anyone else to be the leadoff hitter. I want Bryce back in the three hole. Mm-hmm. I want Schwarber in the four hole. I give a fuck about whatever else you do. Yep. Fair. Because if you give me a guy who just hits for contact and can get on base, right, changes everything. That's all I need. You, if you can get me a guy who's whatever percent, I give, give me twenty five percent on base, and then give me whoever else is in the second hole. I don't care. I really, I really don't care. I don't care if it's stop. I don't care if it's Bohm. I don't care if it's Marsh. I, I really could give a shit how you mix up the lineup. It doesn't matter to me. But I need my two big guns back to back where, look, what are you going to do? Right. Because if you give them the wrong pitch, Schwarber's always killing it. Bryce. And you know why they try not to do that, right? Tell me why. Because they're both left-handed. I know. So one relief pitcher could get them out in theory. I think they're too good for that to be an issue. That's my point. Like, that, like, okay, so again, whenever I talk to somebody who's a baseball guy, right. they talk to me like I'm fucking stupid. That's what I can't no, stand. Like I, I understand <laughs> what you're saying and I get right. the premise, but when they're you got, stars. when you yes, like, oh, well, you, you want to stop Shaq and Kobe? Just break up the triangle. Yeah. yeah. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. That never good happens. luck. Like okay, I I know how to right. stop Shaq and Kobe, but you can't do it. You know what I mean? J- Jordan ran. A, Again, when you got a guy like Bryce Harper and you got a guy like Schwarber, good luck. Right. Good luck. So the uh just still trying to process all the stuff that happened. The other part that killed the Phillies, so all the other series, the bottom of their lineup, they got a lot of runs out of the bottom of their lineup from Segura and Stott and Bohm. Even Marsh had a couple big hits. 
and that part of the lineup became just a dead zone for them. And then once the top stopped hitting, also it was just. And you know. and and I blame that on home run itis. Yeah, after the game with McCullers, when he was tipping his pitches and everybody got into hitting the home runs, it became they stopped trying to get on base. It was all about hitting the hero home run. They were playing hero ball. Yeah. And the Astros just started hitting singles and getting lucky as hell with so many of their hits. And then the Phillies' luck just stopped. They had a couple right on the third baseline last night that were could have been 50-50 fair or foul that gets a guy on base. Sosa hits that ball to the deepest part of that stupid ass ballpark. Yeah. Anywhere else it's a home run, but not there. Oh my God. Otherwise it's gone. Like just again. Like, <laughs> um now let me just tell you. The asteroids. Astros. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> are a scumbag punk ass Scooby McDo organization. And I say this because, one, if I have to hear one more thing about a dynasty, now we... Fox was all over them last night. We we have argued in the past about, about them the cheating, yeah. and now it doesn't matter, and it's not a big deal, or whatever, whatever you want to think. I don't think they cheated this time, by the way. Huh? I don't think they cheated this okay, series. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to say... Go for that, it. I'm going to say 100% that they didn't cheat this series. I'm going to just say that they didn't cheat. You know okay? what was really gross last night? When what? Fox was like, you know everyone needs to move past that. No, so no, no, they, they don't because it's not a dynasty because this is your first championship that you earned because not it's not like people think you were cheating and they, they kind of like believe that you were cheating and it's right. like a mystery a conspiracy like you were caught cheating. You don't deserve or have a real world championship and there is an asterisk by it and it's not it's Fugazi period. Uh oh, not we're still good. Okay. We're still good. <laughs> um, so just keep looking at that camera. Yeah. Um, so it's Fugazi. And so it doesn't matter to me what happened. You got one championship. So did you see what the Astros put on Twitter today? No, yesterday? I did not. After the game? Yeah, after the game. No, I did not see what they put up. I was just, so I was incredibly annoyed. I hate the Philadelphia thing of, oh, these announcers always just talk about the other team. Yeah. I think it's silly, and I think the announcers, for the most part, talk about both teams. But last night, Fox, Smoltz. Yeah. It was an absolute love fest and for the Astros, but with the caveat of the Phillies didn't do anything for them to talk about. Yeah, there was nothing to talk about except for the Astros. Yeah, and and like, I <laughs> and I'd also like to say, thank goodness I didn't have to listen to the audio because I was at a wedding again. It I was that's hear. the first game I told you. I don't like when people say that. Like the professional, the main Fox guys like that, like even Joe Buck, like all, they don't yeah. talk about one team all the time. They talk about both. So uh, shout out to Haley Taylor. I actually saw this on her Twitter, and it drove me crazy. Um, Christian Valquez, uh, we're gross. champions, and we dance on our own. Ring the bell. Cornball. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's a player taking a shot. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Houston Astros official account. Dancing on our own. Dancing on our own with a picture of them celebrating. Tells you how. Houston Astros. Yeah. Red October question mark? Nah. Just shows Orange, you how November. classless they can be. So right. I, I and then <laughs> and then she actually for reference, talking right. about classlessness, she showed what the Phillies wrote when they won the NLCS. Mm -hmm. Phillies. Oh my God, we did it. We're National League champions. Smiling through it all. Can't believe this is our life. This is a moment that will be etched into the Phillies history forever. I'll put these up on the screen. Yeah. No need but to take a shot at no anybody. No need to take a shot at anybody. But I also say that because the Astros don't have any culture, right? Um, marketing, branding, joy of their own. They have nothing of their own. No, yeah, their uniform combinations they use are ugly. By the way, it, it, it's embarrassing. Right. So for them to come on social media and act like that when you have no real culture, no that's why, why when you saw that home run, the fans weren't even like hugging each other or oh, crying. It was the quietest World Series crowd I've ever heard in my life. It, it, like, they're just Fugazi fans. They're not real people. I don't like them. Um, if that would have happened in Philly by a Phillies player, they would have had the fake Richter scale tweets going out like they had during uh, the earlier yeah. games in the playoffs. Yeah. And and it just would have been amazing. What, what I'm looking for. the uh, Yeah. When I, when, I, when I told you, I was like, I'll keep watching oh, y'all yeah. <laughs> from home. <laughs> uh, dancing on my own because I was uh, like, that that to be honest is the worst thing that happened in the world series i'm going to 
Because at, at some point, I am going to Mia Copia. And again, always love Bryce. Thank you, Bryce. Yeah. Uh, thank you, uh, everybody. Th- even thank you, Reese, that you gave me moments and you and you did one of the your greatest thing. home runs I've ever seen in my life. Yes, I and I and right now this episode is all about grumping. Yeah, but in a week, in I'm a week, grateful. in a week from now, and a year from now, yeah. I'll be like, man, we did something. We want to run first six seed ever. Yeah, broke today. so many <laughs> records. Did so many things. Just not today. Not the first time I'm talking about this, and not when I mean, you're going to hear me on the radio for like the first three days. I'm not going to be joyful about right. the experience and what they gave me. But that is the worst thing that happened here. You don't go to games and people say, oh, nobody's going to the games. Well, you don't give us a reason to go to the games. Right. I'm not going to just go when you're not trying. And That's I'm not <laughs> going to go out there when you're not doing well and it's 93 degrees. Right. Like, you you win two games, you lose two. Like, you're losing to people you shouldn't. Like, it was an up and down roller coaster year. But when you got to the playoffs, every game sold out. Um, the crowd was there loving you. M- merchandise, records breaking on sales or merchandise. So the fans are just waiting for you to give them a reason to do what they do. Absolutely. Mind you, they're still sitting at home watching the game. They're just not coming out spending $12 on a beer and $5 on a hot dog and having little Johnny throw up his ice cream that he spent $9 on. Like, yeah, we're not going to do that when you're not it's winning. in a helmet. Yeah, yeah. It's, we're not gonna do that when when you're losing. Okay, we're not we're not gonna come out and spend forty dollars to par- literally even before you buy the ticket. If you take the ticket out of it, you can't walk in there. One person spending less than sixty, eighty dollars. Then you add in you're bringing the kids, you're bringing the family, the wife. Like everybody's drinking, everybody's eating. You you walked in there minus the tickets. It's like four hundred dollars. You spent two, three hundred dollars <laughs> easy. Like World Series tickets. So that's what I'm getting like, to. That's what I'm working up to. <laughs> the World Series. Tickets, that's the worst thing in the world. We personally know. A, I saw at least ten people that I yep. know that went to the no hitter game. Oh man, I'd be. And I been, you guys thought I was grumpy. I would have been so grumpy. I would have been so mad if I was there. So and paid money. And and I and I told Leah, I was like, oh, I was like, I was like, we're not going to a playoff game because we're going to a World Series. I told her that in the first game of the Braves. Hey. And she looked at me like, how'd you know? And I keep saying the story because it was just so incredible that I got. I just felt it, bro. Yeah. Like I felt it. I and, was feeling it yesterday, by the way. I posted it. I know everybody said I was being craggy. Before the game, man, I was on that. I oh, was yeah, yeah, yeah. I could to well, I, get the positive vibes. Friday, I was rageaholic. Right. Yeah. Friday, I was rageaholic. And then uh, yesterday, like, uh, you know, I, I, whatever, I was saying, I was like, look, on game day, I don't bash players. Nope. Like, when I call, you know what I mean? I call on radio all the time, so mm-hmm. I just talk about that a lot. But when I hear people calling, da 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 da, I was like, I know he sucks, but not today. No, I need not, him today. Not today. Like, I'm not, I'm not bashing today. Like, wait right. till Monday or whatever. But not today. And it's the same thing with Topper. Like, but I, I, I swear to you, bro, when I saw Alvarado coming out, because again, I didn't have sound, so I didn't even know. I, I wasn't super paying attention, so I didn't know who was warming up. But I literally was yelling, no. You want to know what's even worse? So what? I told you, I thought Wheeler looked like he was getting shaky, right? Mm-hmm. Then I also felt the second Alvarado threw the first pitch, I knew Alvarez was hitting a home run. Like I just had that feeling, like, and the second it happened, I wasn't even mad. It was just like a head down, like, like I knew it. I just had that, like, you could sense that moment coming. Yeah. Like it just, I don't know. It was bad. Like, I just. It was so bad. The 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 <laughs> world, my whole world. Again, thank goodness I was at a wedding. So, I'm actually gonna go uh, hit up Dave and 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 pick up my nephew and and I'm gonna interview him about the World Series. Yeah. I was gonna have Leah do it with me, yo. Uh, I and this I did save her because she's a kid and she she normally wouldn't care, but like she was crying. We're at the wedding and she is crying. It happens, man. I actually and, wish that uh, Connor was into sports at that point. He's still a little young right now. Yeah. For it at ten, he'll watch for a little bit. Then he's in and out of the game. Yeah. Uh, we were in the car for one of the Harper home runs, and he gave out the loudest cheer for it. I'm like, yes, yeah, let's go. Yeah, yeah. So, but then afterwards, I'm like, you want to watch the rest of the game? He's like, no. So, so this this <laughs> is like, like, this is the first time where I I you know she's been like invested in that her whole heart changed. Um, the first year that the Sixers went to the playoffs, I got playoff tickets, mm-hmm. and it's when we were playing Boston mm-hmm. and Brogdon hit that three, and we thought we were going to win. 
And I mean, just the whole crowd was like, and I got a video of her just throwing, whipping the towel. And right. she was like, she, and we had been to many basketball games. We've right. been to maybe, we've been to all the games. She was like, this is different. I was like, yeah, it's you fun. can, you can feel yes. the difference. Like now when a regular season game, you're cheering, everybody's wooting, party time. They play the song at the end, but in a playoff game of any kind in Philadelphia, you feel it. And she was like, I love Sports like that's yes. what changed her whole. Sure. It ticked her whole mind because she's always been an athlete, always been playing yes. different sports. But that ticked her mind. So for this World Series, she's been watching with her friends. She's been coming over with her friends. Like she just like even on the nights that um aren't my nights, she's just like, can I come watch the game with you? And then take me back to mom's house. I was like, yeah, we can watch the game. So when she sat there at the bar, was, she was crying. Everyone's like, oh, that's just Philly, you know, heartbreak and stuff like that. And she's like, no, <laughs> she's like. Why do we suck? Because the union had just yes, lost. It hurts. And she and she and the way that we lost too. Like again, her mindset was they're not be- that much better than us. Like I know that I know. they got better pitching and all that kind of stuff, but the the way that the games went, yeah, they were even. Yes, and so we had a chance and we didn't capitalize on the chance. And she was just crying. She made many videos, and I was gonna tweet one of them. I might tweet a picture of it. I might put a picture up here. Um, you know, I was like, man, they done messed up my girl's makeup. We done made right. it to the whole wedding, and now she just and she and, and my one friend came over to like, it's okay. She's like, I was invested. She's like, I was invested, and that's what you want for the youth, like you said, like you, you, when your son gets a little older, hopefully so he hits last, that. Like after, like after games like last night, I'm like, maybe I don't want him to follow in the Philadelphia yeah. sport thing. He doesn't deserve this he hurt. Doesn't deserve <laughs> like, the hurt. It, like, I mean, it does, it's not fun, but it's, also. It's so fun. Yeah, and it, and, and, it, and at least we're real fans. Like you know what I mean. Like I said, like you said, when he hit that home run, I was like, man, these guys don't even care. Like they're like, right. It it, it just isn't the same. Nah, and should have um, been ready to crumble when he hit that home run. Yeah, like just so. <laughs> oh, back to the point, man. People would spend a lot of money to watch them lose them two games at home. If you went to Game Three, your whole life was made. That was like one of the, that might have been one of the best games in Philly sports history. Yes, well, the home runs. That yeah, was so fun. Just, just in general, just like I you know, went to game four, you should be looking to sell that ticket to somebody in Houston. Yeah, for, yeah, to get some money back. Well, that's, that's the other problem too. <laughs> uh, not to get into a tech thing, but they need to make these tickets NFTs because you no longer have tickets anymore. I know it's just a. You no longer have the physical. Right. I was there to whatever somebody. Well, that something could, you need. That's like an awesome thing to have. Not only is it an awesome thing to have, MLB is screwing people out of money. Well, that's yes. Because and they're not even it's not even they're, they're going to keep the money. Right. There's just like a thing of hey, I've got a World Series ticket right. to Game Three. Yes, that's a I'm standing in line one day to meet Bryce Harper. Bryce, could you sign this? Absolutely. That ticket becomes worth X Y Z amount of money to me, right. or not even money to me. It it's becomes a, a family heirloom that I put on my wall that my grandson keeps and talks about. My granddad went to the World Series <laughs> yeah. Game Three back 45 so awesome. years ago. Right. And now I got like a, a screenshot of the ticket turns to, like it's just bullshit and they yeah. need to fix it. And again, I know a lot of people don't care about NFTs and things like that, but that's the one thing MLB and all sports organizations need to get on making when you purchase the ticket, you are purchasing an NFT of that seat and that game at that time. That makes a lot of so sense. that you have it for the future. Um, man, thank goodness I didn't spend no money because I was close. <laughs> I was close because I, I, I couldn't get tickets to game three. I was offered tickets to game four and it was just over like my budget of reasonability. Mm-hmm. Like where it was like, I could do this, but I, I shouldn't do this. You needed to hit that Powerball. I needed <laughs> I'm buying a team once I hit that. <laughs> Man, look, <laughs> a, a minor you league team. You own the commanders. <laughs> <laughs> you might get the commanders one point. On a discount. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean, well, shoot. At that point, I mean, I, more to so to me than you. you know I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go hit the Powerball if it's one point. We know you're gonna win, not me. So one, yeah, it's one, it's one point eight million. I walk out of that drone with like seven hundred fifty million. Now yeah. I got to go get a black conglomerate group and be like, look, I need four more of y'all to put up five hundred million so I can go get <laughs> go buy the Commanders. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, I ain't gonna shoot. He's gonna set that thing for like four or five mil, Billy. So <laughs> I need I need a little bit more than the Powerball. I need I need three Powerballs to make sure I get. It, you find, know what I mean? Their new Mark Cuban. Yeah, right? so I don't. Yeah, right. So I don't get outbid. But um, uh, I'm like, but I just want to buy it. Like, yeah. <laughs> so I mean, I just probably still wouldn't have bought a ticket. It was so expensive, even if I had that money. <laughs> again, I am I, not. I mean, I'm not going to lie. My, I was just trying to get standing room tickets. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I was literally just going to get standing room and go 
early and wait at the gate like a lion and just go sit right in the front as close as possible. And uh, that was gonna that was gonna be my plan. But even that, I was just like, I just can't justify. It. And then when it happened, like I said, I was like, I felt like I won the lottery not going to the game. <laughs> I was like, oh man, this is amazing. That's tough. That this, is tough. this is amazing. Like I said, you you were so hot that night. You were livid. I'm just crazy. And I'm just like, but again, the next night I felt how you I felt with the no hitter because I, 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 again, I I put it up as, hey man, it's not your night. Right. It's just like when a guy who scores 30 points a game puts up six right. and everything banks out like some nights mm-hmm. just I mean what do you, I mean what are you gonna do and and that's why I feel like I am sometimes hard on Reese but to watch him miss that ball yeah then watch a replacement first baseman who's not even a good first baseman who's not a good <laughs> first baseman. Come in. Amazing story, though. In the next inning, you can tell me after this. <laughs> in the next inning, on the, one of the second hits to make the play that he made, yeah, Reese has to go. Yeah, I, unfortunately, uh, his, his wife can stay. She's a, she's, she's cool. a gem. Oh, 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 oh yes. yes. Also, so first, do, do, go, go ahead and say it. Whoever was saying stuff to Cassiano's wife, mom, family, whoever, you're the worst fan ever. You're an absolute piece of trash person. You yes. don't have to like Castellanos. You can boo him. We talk about booing. You know, I'm not. You can boo him all you want. Do not bother that man's family. They are not there to be bothered by your cheap ass. So I'll tell you right now. If you come at someone's wife, child, mother, right. you're a bitch. Yep. <laughs> if you go to jail, they have that fucking rule. Yes. In jail, <laughs> if you pick on women, children, or someone's mother or grandmother, any female in the family... You're gonna get anally raped. I'm just gonna let you know. <laughs> I didn't think we were going there. I, I'm going there. I'm just gonna let you know. That's jail rules, bro. Like you Jesus. don't mess with women, children, and you go out here and disrespect someone's wife like that. You are a punk. Yes. Like you. That's that's the Philadelphia that I hate. That's Absolutely. that's all, that's yes. the that's the I threw a battery. The one guy right. threw a battery. You act like the whole nation just threw batteries at Santa Claus. Right. It was like one dude. Right. You know what I mean? Throwing some, a couple people throwing some snowballs. <laughs> I'm just saying, but you... That Santa was trash. Yes, he was <laughs> trash. He was the worst Santa Claus available. Yeah. There's never been a worse Santa Claus <laughs> in the world, and I've watched all the bad Santas. There's never been a worse Santa Claus. But I digress. You do not mess with a man's wife, woman, or children. Like You just don't do that, and that's so disrespectful and ignorant, and you should be ashamed of yourself. Again, even jailhouse rules. My God. My man. thing is, it's not like he's not trying. He's not out there not trying. He's giving. He had all those catches in the outfield. Uh, oh, he but, actually. I got a response me. from. I'm not sure if it's his mom or his wife. I didn't look it up because I don't need to. One of them tweeted: "Is there a such thing as a signature catch?" After Cassianos made three of those sliding catches in right field, and all I answered was, "There is now," okay. and I got a response on it. What which, was the response? Right? Just a like, like nothing, oh, like, nothing like that. Okay, whatever. Okay, she liked okay, it. Cool. Okay, whatever. Yeah. And. uh but like, I, but I didn't. I never once was I like, you know what? I'm gonna tweet her and let her know her. It sucks. <laughs> yeah. right? like, so, also, uh, if you're a fantasy football player and you're tweeting players that you have on your team, you are also a loser. Like, yo, bro, <laughs> this is what when we talked about. Yes, let me, like, what is let, wrong with let me you? finish on the Cassianos thing. <laughs> First of all, again, Salt fuck you for messing with the that's wife. Yeah. That's trash. And I'm gonna clip out the Emily rape thing and I'm posting that. Probably should. It's funny. <laughs> No, I'm not, I'm not taking it out. Oh, oh, I'm putting that on the internet. That's that's viral. Don't do that. <laughs> I, I, I don't want whoever that guy is. I'm hoping it goes viral. And he finds out what happens when you mess with people's <laughs> wife, child, or something like that. Don't do it. But Cassianos and these sliding catches. I'm gonna tell you something. One thing. One again. My goodness. Game saving. Yes. Postseason changing moments, yeah, like just amazing. When moments. you when you do it once, I'm like, oh my god. Yeah. When you do it twice, I'm like, wow. When you do it three times, I'm like, now you mean to tell me you couldn't have just ran over and catch that ball? Did you hear his quote about him though? Did you mean to tell? Me, I know. Hold on a second. You mean to tell me <laughs> yeah. after the third time you can't just run and catch? Because right. I, I tell you, you what, make it look you nice keep now. slipping and sliding. <laughs> you, you might as well call it the slip and slide. You keep slipping and sliding to catch these balls, and you it's miss like- one. I'm going to hurt you. That's like the hardest step back. He's like, I got my own thing now. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, you're out here doing a slip and slide. He out here, whoo, and he, does, yeah. and he and he spins on his yep. butt like he got a whole thing with it. You know what I mean? So uh, go ahead and tell me. His quote was, well, one of his, you're like, come on, man. Don't say that. Like, not right now. He said, yeah, because he's 
uh, statistically the worst right fielder in baseball. Yep. He says, well, yeah, during the regular season, it gets really hard to concentrate every game. You know, in the host season, you're just going to lock in. He's like, okay. Don't. Shh. Okay. <laughs> you needed a PR person. Like, hey, this interview's okay. done. We're yeah. not using that. Like, yeah. that's. Um, so <laughs> uh, just a couple other button up notes. Uh, I do love Schwarber so much. I will love him because when they got no hit. Oh, his quote was great. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. <laughs> and he proved it by coming out and doing right. what? Hitting a home run. My goodness. Mash. Love, love that. Love that attitude. Love that mentality. Yep. Again, we're. He's a leader. I'm, this is the end of the show, so now I can just start. I love the team. I'm happy for the team. I'm thankful for the team. They did something that we did not expect, and they showed the world. It was amazing. That. We are coming, and if we just spend a little bit more money, which is all we've been asking for. When the guy told me he was going to spend stupid money, and then he spent thirty cents, I'm like, yeah, bro, like, uh, that's yeah, that is stupid. Yeah, because it's not enough. Spend the money, spend the money, because again, Philadelphia will spend money too. We work really hard in this area for our money. This isn't L.A. This isn't New York. I mean, <laughs> we're not Rockefellers. And so when you give us something to spend the money for, the Eagles don't have a problem selling out. I mean, they, when they were 4 and 11, they did, but Six when they're winning. The when they started trying. Exactly. Full so house. go go spend this money, get me some pitching, get rid of Reese. That's my own that's my top demand. That's my top demand. I can't do it anymore. I don't want to see it anymore. I know. I'm just done. I appreciate all the memories. Right? Yes. Thank you for your service. Yeah. Also, but at this point like as some the way some people defend him and I was like just because I drafted a guy, I mean, like, right. it's like, okay, he's literally like uh, a guy that my daughter marries, and we love the guy, but they get divorced. Right. I got to let him go. I mean, right. we loved yeah. him, but he's not, like, he's right. not doing the service that was the service. Right. He's you not saying hi to him. Yes. You see him, yeah, you don't yeah, got to yeah. be mean. You but can appreciate it. He, I, I wish him well to go off and marry a new right. woman and have mm -hmm. a new family and find new wealth and greatness. Go over there. Because when I watch Bone. Go through what he did. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Boom. Boom. Love you. Uh, thank you. Yo, did he get a new chain for the World Series, too? <laughs> My man iced out. I thought so. My man Drippy. It looked good. My man Drippy. <laughs> like, like, My you know, man I got, Drippy. I got because uh, <laughs> he didn't so, wear that all season. No, 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 no. <laughs> my man, my man, Drippy. So I'm gonna tell you another thing too that I, I called and said it was funny. But um, so he went from a horrible downtrodden moment, and again, he came in, did well, got sent down, got brought back up. I f really feel like Girardi wasn't helping him grow. Any of the young guys. Yeah. So that that just derailed him a little bit. But then he came and had that moment. Hated here because you know Philly's tough on you. Apologized, manned up, took it. And that's they, all Philly needs, by the way. Like you can't say that, but oh, you're you said sorry. That's what we're I mean cool. about Philadelphia. Like yeah, I said, we're, cool. we're straight up, we're straight up people here. We're hardworking right. people here. Like yo, you messed up. You say sorry. You mean it. We'll forgive you. They gave him a standing ovation. They they gave him love. Like that's all you could ask for. And so, man, he improved so much in one year. Reese has been here for what nineteen. <laughs> and he's still making a mistake. I gotta let you go. Right. I gotta let you go. I gotta put me first, Lucius. I gotta put me first. Now, uh, just to just to tell you, because I said it, I, I haven't put it on the show, so I set it up. And when when Bryce whispered in his ear, I've been telling people I know exactly what Bryce said to him. What did he say? Bryce told him he said, "You know, you look good, you smell good." Go out there and do something to make this crowd feel good. <laughs> <laughs> and what'd he do? He hit that home run on the first wing, just like Bryce. That's my other thing. I'm going to keep that going. I'm about to talk about you, you, see? you send me stuff yeah. to remake things. Yes. I'm going to tell you what. <laughs> Sometimes I dream <laughs> that he is me. I got to see that's how I dream to be like Bryce. <laughs> if I could be like Bryce, I want to be, I want to be like Bryce. Gatorade, get on it. Bring see? it back and be. <laughs> Give me a Gatorade like Bryce commercial. I will sing it three times a day and buy so much Gatorade I pass out from electrolytes. Go so ahead. First one, did you see that Bryce has Bryce and Stott living in his house right now because Stott's lease en ended at the end of September in Philly and he had nowhere to go and he didn't want to get a place for a whole year. So he's living in Bryce Harper's extra room. I mean, Bryce has the space. I mean... I mean, Tom Brady right. did it for AB. <laughs> yeah. I guess Bryce can do it. Slightly right. better. <laughs> Bryce, now I guess Bryce can do it. Hey, hey. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be that way for him. But yeah, but, uh, Bryce is nice. Yeah, he was like, Bryce is nice. Bro, just 
like That's Bryce. what he told us. Y'all got you a room too. If right? I want to be like Bryce, I want to be, I want to be like Bryce. By the way, how cool was it when they brought out Meek Mill too? Hold on, wait a minute. Game. Y'all thought I was winning? Yo, and then, all I could think again. of when that was song was on was the highlights of them just hitting the ball like as it was going on beat with it. Just like an edited video that would have just like, oh, man. Meek never has to buy a cheesesteak in Philly again. He nope. ain't never got to buy no drinks. He's, I mean, he's, another song. he's already got his money. Like, oh. He's like, that's the so, one. Like, <laughs> and just, last thing, because we're... We're long, but we needed yeah, this today. It, yeah. I mean, <laughs> if only two people listen to us, you're two people yeah. that cared. But <laughs> when... <laughs> Game four happened, right? No hitter. Everybody complained. Philadelphia wasn't supporting the team. That Philadelphia was so wasn't backing <laughs> the team. Philadelphia wasn't loud. I mean, even when the game started, about. they weren't <laughs> loud. And again, I'm like, bro, did you watch the game? Right. I was like, second of all, they were still louder in that game than Houston. Yeah. Than Houston was in any home game. So when you tell me that, oh, the reason the Phillies lost and got no hit is because the crowd wasn't in it. Bitch, they went to Houston and had zero crowd. Right. And won a game. Yeah. They went on the road and won many a game with like our our twenty percent fan base being That's there because right. we still do travel. Yep. We still travel. Twenty percent. I'll give every get, uh, away game. But I'm like, bro, don't don't tell me that the, the team didn't get hyped. So the Phillies, know what they know, they say, you know what? They were a little flat yesterday. Me. Yep. <laughs> What's up? Me. <laughs> what, me. What you doing tomorrow? You know what I mean? The around seven fifteen. Yo, the fanatic was iced out. And people were like, oh, Meeks, if you can't perform a song without lip syncing, I'm like, first of all, they had to edit it because there's a lot of cusses in it. So he's like he's rapping the parts. He's a whole he can, sound system out yeah, there. Either. Yeah, like, yeah. He can he rap the parts he can rap. And then I like, had to let it go. And then, my man, again, I want you, I want any performer right. to go down in front of 45,000 people that aren't concert people. It's not like they're, ums, 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 do that, ums, My favorite ums. was at least. 35% of the people that were like, who is this? <laughs> so, <laughs> right? right? Look, look, I, I, I don't even think that's true. I think 100% of people, know, after the I Eagles won the I Super Bowl, 100% of Philadelphia yeah, knows. True, true. It's like the Rocky song now. <laughs> yes. Hold on, wait a minute. I got grandmas. Hold on, wait a minute. I was listening Y'all to that thought all day I was yesterday too before the game. Yeah, yeah, dancing that, on my that, own. Like, trying everything. I'm like, like, I need like, the positive like, vibes. Like, grandmas <laughs> know, hold on, wait a minute. You, Grandma, what you doing? Oh, I'm getting at it. You know, like, everybody knows us. So when he came out, in front of that crowd, I couldn't keep my breath knowing that the crowd's that hype. You ain't never been to a concert where everybody's like a towel rocking, yeah. and then you get on the friggin' thing with the fanatic, and he's right. <laughs> yeah. now me, and Meek, Meek knows a little bit about yeah, I mean, but still. In, in the streets, but I'm like, he just look again. People don't realize how hard it is to set up all the sound for that to actually perform yes. it. Also, yeah, like. <laughs> and that moments like that, like with Kelsey throwing yes. out the ball, like again, I'm I, I I know most of this was down, and you probably didn't even made it to this part. But man, I love the team. I love the run. It was Stick great. To the good part so now? many fun <laughs> moments, and you know, it was great. But like watching Meek on the on the front of the handlebars, yeah. like he like looked like a kid. He's like, yeah, like because again, you could feel it. The crowd was there, opening freaking day. It'll be amazing. Bryce will be sexy wearing his fanatic cleats. Why? Oh, Under Armour. Why don't you sell these? Oh. Right. Come on, stop I those. need these cleats right. in my life. I, matter of fact, I'd buy these cleats and I'm not playing another fucking game for the rest of my life. I'd wear them in the streets. Can you coach? Yeah, I'm not coaching nothing. <laughs> Leah's graduated from Little League. She had her last Little League game. Congratulations. In the park home run, by that. the way. Yes. You know what I mean? One of her like nine. I had two goals today. Yeah. Like, okay, okay. Like, okay. All, kids? all the kids out here scoring. Yeah, we fat, but our kids are fit, bitch. So we, watch yourself. We were athletic. Yeah, yeah, a long yeah. Time yeah, ago. yeah, yeah. But yeah. at least we're not the old people. Back in my day, I used to dunk on nine people. And oh. da, 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 da. I'm like, look, my kids great now. I ain't got time to brag about myself, my little accomplishments. My kids out here doing. No, big. instead we just uh, pretend that we're on the pro team and take every loss super hard and act like idiots on Facebook. Sorry, everybody. Like, <laughs> why, why is he still talking? Uh, uh, you do apologize. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I've adjusted everything on the internet, so black gritty everywhere. Uh, Jason's on there with me. Uh, I'm also going to go interview a kid, see if I can make him cry about the Phillies. And uh, we're just going to keep it rolling. The Eagles are 8 No, Forgot to talk about that. How amazing is that that in November? I was actually, I'm like, an I no team got that put they, on the back. Their game was on Thursday. Yeah. I didn't even get to watch it. Like, yeah, I had it on, so, but like I didn't watch it. So you right. see how my setup is, right? Like I got Same. like I got yeah. like a thirty-two inch monitor, yeah. and I got my fifty-five inch. I literally had the Phillies on the smaller one with the sound, yeah. and I had the Eagles with no sound in the back because yeah, I could at least see it them. just kind of looked over. And you're like, oh, they're winning now. Cool. Yeah, great. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, right. <laughs> they're finally winning that. That was a rough game. Anyway, Thursday we were, night football always. 
Always trash, trash. On the road. Trash. Thursday night football sucks. No, no preparation. Malata looked the worst he's ever looked in his career. Yeah. And it's because he only had two days to prepare, and right. that's the problem. Just, yeah. So Whatever. They just keep winning. Also, everyone that keeps talking about the Eagles' schedule being weak, they beat the Vikings, they beat the Cowboys. I mean, here, they beat who they're playing. They here, can't get Bama on the schedule. They keep trying. Yeah, but, here, you know, here's, work here's my way. thing about the schedule. You play who's in front of you. Right, and you win the games. And not only that, they're dominating the games. And even when you think they're not dominating the games, they're literally playing cat and mouse just so they don't get their players injured. They're like, look, we're up so big in the second quarter. Halftime, we're going to come out, let you diddle around and yep. think you're doing something, and then, get a couple picks, and then we're going to run a nine-minute drive down your throat. Oh, wait, you're close? Here's okay. two nine-minute drives down yep. your throat. The game's over, and they win. So they're dominating also. also so if you have an easy schedule, dominate that schedule and shut up and move on. You know on. what happened last time the Astros won the World Series, right? What happened? The Eagles won. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Bop, 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 bop. Um, again, uh, Black Gritty on everything now, so you can find it. And, Positive uh, vibes from here on out. Uh, I'm going to link uh, the Twitter to Jason has if you only want to hear about sports because that's all he talks about. I lost so many followers in this Phillies run. Like, <laughs> all my tech people were so mad at me. Oh, I lost oh. so I was like, many followers. Of me? No, no, no. <laughs> I, I I apologize to all my tech people. Right. I'm, uh, tech stuff is coming back too, but I I just I I couldn't sleep. My house is a mess. Yeah, it's a let's talk about that. I had had no sleep. Every night is a party or a, a, a crying fest. Like I'm either <laughs> I'm I'm either in a fetal position or I'm freaking throwing Running soda at the walls. You know what I mean? Like acting crazy. You know what I mean? Rub my nipples like go just losing my mind. So it's just like every night has been so rough. So yeah, at least I'm so tired. Uh, <laughs> So tired. <laughs> like it's like we got a reprieve, yeah. and so uh, you know, I, I guess I got to clean up the house, get my life in order. But again, I apologize for all the tech people <laughs> that have been so mad. I at apologize me. to anyone on Facebook as well. Oh yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Know. Captain Grump a lot. You know what I mean? You know, I'm trying to be T both. Tony, I got called Jekyll and Hyde. By Tony way, even texted was me. I was like, "Yo, don't ever call me negative again." I was like, "Well, <laughs> I was like, he wants the sports world to die. You want the entire world to die." So I'm like, "You, you're kind of even, Steven, right now." Man. Uh, I'll do better. I yeah, won't, I won't. I mean, you, I'm you insane. Are, you are, it, it, we're fans. We <laughs> yeah. care. It hurts me when they lose. They so many people. Should not so matter. many people on on Facebook are Philly fans. We're just like so positive. I Good know. run. Get them next How year. Do do opening that? day. Because one, I want to do that, but I can't. <laughs> one again, me and Kobe and you yeah, because your Philly fans are showing some positivity. I know you're the and, better person. Oh, <laughs> you're the better person. I'm not the better. Person. People uh, c c fake congratulate me. <laughs> hey, good games. Same time next year. I'm like, no, yeah. no, there's Never not. The same time next year, and then yeah, I do. I just I'm gonna put this up on the screen so that people can see it. I really believe until the last one. I'm like, yo, Cassianos is coming through right oh, now. Yeah, and Le I'm like, or next time. Le Leah or didn't. Or next time. Leah didn't. After after the second game of the World Series, her whole heart was like, just don't swing at anything. You walk. I was even trying to reverse like, it, like put something so like, man, because every time I do this, somebody gets a big hit. So uh, like, a, a a cowboy fan. I'm not gonna put his name out there. I don't want right. people bashing him. <laughs> that sends me the Astros link to Astros oh, World Series stuff. It's like, if you need some new shirts or hats. You're and probably I'm like, was a Yankees fan until last night. Right. So here's my thing. <laughs> I said, here's some new shirts or hats. I was like, do you even like or support baseball? Right. Or are you just a bandwagon, shitty Texas teams fan? Right. And he's like, I haven't watched baseball since Griffey played in Seattle. And I'm like, oh, then. Not even when he went to the Reds? So I'm like, oh, then, <laughs> shut the fuck up right. about anything baseball related. That's why people hate Cowboys fans. Mm -hmm. I just was sharing a link that I got sent out last so night. Weak. I'm like, no. I'm right. like, again, so you're you're a cowboy fan, knowing right. that the Eagles are eight and no, and right. you send me some Astro stuff when I haven't seen you say anything about baseball whatsoever, just to try and dink at me. Right. Get out of my face. That's why people hate <laughs> cowboy fans. Every time. <sighs> All right. Uh I feel better now. A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. That's good. A little bit. Um, a little therapy. I gotta rage it up again tomorrow for the radio when I call in. But after that, I'll I'll let it go by Tuesday. <laughs> You're like the Hulk. That's my secret. I'm always, <laughs> I'm always angry. Yeah. I'm always angry. Man, look, it's, it's, uh, it feels that way as a Philly sports fan, by the yeah. way. It, it, and it's funny, too, because people are like, oh, you're, you're all. It, it's crazy how people perceive you in life. Mm -hmm. I'm either the most negative person in the world or I'm the most, I'm too hyped and too positive. Right. I'm like, when we're winning, I'm hype. I'm hype. <laughs> when when I'm we're hype. losing, yeah. I'm angry. Like it hurts. I, yeah, because I'm go, I'm going with the flow. Like, right. bro, I can't be the whole positive Mary every day, and I can't be the negative Nancy every day either. Like, I go with the flow, bro. I go with the flow. Right, like, I don't do the every play during like an Eagles game up and down thing anymore. Like, I did that when I was younger. Yeah. But like, I still like if they lose, I'm mad. 
I, if they I, win, I'm happy. I, 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 I too have made a football adjustments to halftime and post. <laughs> yeah, like I try to. Like I let the know. whole first half go, and I'm like, oh, why don't y'all better make them laugh? You know, <laughs> we're going super long today, but whatever. You know what really took me a long time to learn? You're like, hey man, what? QB's throwing completions. You don't have to, like, it doesn't have to be the end of the world every time there's a bad throw. Well, like, that that's, that's like, the one thing where like, people will kill me about Jalen Hurts last year. I'm like, right. look who he's throwing to right. when they drop the ball. Nobody cares about drops. Like, even. Right. Uh, uh, Carson, some games like issues, yeah. some games he'd have bad games. Guess what? Dudes dropped four balls on him, right. bro. If they would have caught those balls, two of them would have been touchdowns. Whole game could have changed. But oh, it's just the guy threw an incompletion and he threw a goal to the dirt. I'm like, yeah. okay. So again, whatever, whatever. We're uh, super long today. Eagles, it was worth no. It. That's all we have left. Against do, the Commanders do, on Monday do, night. Do, Why do, Thursday do, to Monday? Do, by the do, way, do, another do, Sunday do, with nothing. Do. I know. That's why we're doing the show now. I'm like, I can have time to edit. Yeah, but this. next Sunday, yeah, sucks. Terrible. <laughs> Especially since I don't play fantasy football anymore, thank goodness. Yeah, just gamble. Yeah. Just do it. I won I won money early believing in the Phillies, and I lost a little bit of money late, but yeah, I, I, I made more than I lost. I so. went on week two betting some football stuff, and then since then I lost week three, and then I, I stopped betting. I got That's scared. That's what I did. I got scared. That's what I did. The whole league's <laughs> messed up. Yeah. All right, we're out of here. All right. Bye. Bye, guys.